Hey everyone, let's start full screen while we kick this off. Ah, and you can see my test message is still there. Someone write in the chat, let me see whether it's working. I've got it so it can follow me between that and this screen now. So if anyone's watching already, leave me a comment there and see whether it actually updates the, the um, text in the corner. Anyway, in today's stream, I have five brand new Game Boy games. Way yeah, it's working. I've got five brand new Game Boy games for you guys to check out today. We have Penalty Kick by Ferrante Craft. We have Ark by Ferrante Craft. We have Velocity Rush, which was a Kickstarter that I actually pledged ages ago and it finally arrived the other day. So we've got Velocity Rush and we have Big to Small, which I've also got the box for somewhere. And that one also came with an N64 game as well, which is pretty interesting. So we've got that one and we have this one, which comes in a really nice box. Look at that box there. May the gods send favor on your journey. And this one is the one that's actually in the console right now. But let me just show you what it looks like. There you go. We've got a really nice, I presume it's glow in the dark. A really nice green Game Boy case there. With some actual writing on the back too. The brutal bowels of the deadliest dungeon. So maybe we'll start with this one. I don't really know what it's called. Can you guys read that? Trauma, Traumatarium, maybe? I think that's what it says, Traumatarium. And yeah, I just love this little box. So cool, look at that. And it's also got, inside, it's also got a little instruction manual in there as well, which is kind of like, like it's been ripped, but it's not. It's like a really cool little style they went for with it. Kind of a rustic feel, so it's all in font color. Obviously I'll show all this off in the video. But, yeah, it looks really interesting, like a dungeon crawling style game. So we will check this one out. And at some point I'll try and find the boxes for some of the other ones, but I've only got the carts on the table. So let's plug this in. And thanks for joining as well, everyone. I do appreciate that. I know it's been a while. I've been off sick. I had the flu. I was really, really sick. I hardly even moved for like a week. But I'm back. Almost back to normal. I apologize if I start randomly coughing. Anyway, let's swap around to the game. Here we go. Traumatarium. Possibly I was just being extremely lazy. Don't tell my boss. I managed to get a few days off. I was really upset actually because I had days off and I couldn't do anything. Oh, it was so frustrating. Anyway, menu, access any, any, any time. We have items, and we have relics plus gold. Oh my god, Dave, what are you doing here on a Friday night? A terrible famine tore across the kingdom. Oh no. Great evil awoke after centuries of slumber. Oh no, stop telling my boss. I was sick, I promise. The queen knew what needed to be needed to get done. She called upon a long lost champion. The only one brave enough or brain enough to survive the traumatarium. He looks like a really jacked up version of Shovel Knight. I'm fired. Yay! Now I can make content full time. Anyway, what are we actually doing here? Town centre. Let's go into the town centre. Clean out my cubicle. That is... I'm in my cubicle. Are you kicking me out of my room as well? Rest and save. Five gold. No, I don't want to spend gold already. Let's see what else we can do here. We have a shop. We can buy bandages, potion, gold. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Right, I'm going to have to end this stream right now. I'm being kicked out of my room. Sorry, guys. I can't do it! I can't do it! Let me have my job back! I can't give up this game collection. This is a library. Scroll to learn about items. Bandages heal 3 health. Potions heal full health. 
Food heals, three vitality. I don't know what the difference between health and vitality is, but I guess we'll find out soon. Maps return you to town. Weapons raise damage. A shield blocks some attacks. And I just realised I should also be recording this. As I am going to be doing a video about all of these games as well, so... Bear with me for one second while I capture the PC screen. And I think that will do it. And make sure I've got desktop audio. Which is... Okay, and we are good to go. How's everyone's week been? My week's been a bit... A bit frustrating. I've had a load of really annoying stuff going on at work. Which is... Uh, yeah, there's some stuff coming up. But work's been a bit... Frustrating, and I've been in a lot of really long meetings this week. Which have also really started... To get me down a little bit, so hopefully... Uh, oh, wow, thank you. Thank you so much, Skate, for the subscription. And I'm just going to have to try and get rid of this spam. If it'll let me. Ah, uh, just ignore it. I haven't got the right Twitch thing up. Eh, yeah, that's kind of how I feel. I mean, there's some good stuff coming up in the pipeline in terms of my job, but at the minute it's uh, kind of dragging a little bit. But anyway, I'm just, bear with me one second, I'm just getting the uh, output right for OBS so I can record these games at the same time. And that is now recording. Okay. Yeah, I need to set some mods up. I didn't really expect there to be spam bots and stuff already. Um, I'll figure it out after. Maybe I'll message some of you. Um, right, anyway, what are we up to? So, I'm presuming this is some sort of dungeon crawler. So, let's find out. A barren hallway, eerily silent. You find bandages. Room 2. Okay, so I'm guessing that there's not actually any interaction in this game. It's just moving from... Static scene to static scene, which is a little bit disappointing. I was hoping for like a proper dungeon crawler Anyway, let's keep playing. At least the graphics look nice. A strange woman blocks your way uh, Okay, apparently I'm fighting the strange woman. Sure. I didn't get a say in that Sorry strange woman Although she looks like some sort of weird snake now You find bandages room three so you don't even get to walk around the rooms, they're literally just separate screens, okay. A body swinging slowly from a rotten rope. Um, okay, I found food and bandages in a body that was just hanging down from the ceiling. That's nice. Room four. Uh, no, I do not own a Hyperkin Superboy. Would you... Actually, I do, but it's not here. Is it? No, it's not here. I do, I have the original version. And I did a silly picture on Instagram a while ago when I plugged in the Game Boy, the Super Game Boy, and played a Game Boy game on the Super Boy like that. And I'm not really a huge fan of the Hyperkin Super Boy, honestly. I think the controls don't really feel great. Um, anyway, let's carry on here. So, drink. You feel refreshed. Room 5. So, is there actually anything you can do in this game? Or is it literally just press A to go through the rooms and make sure you heal at some point? I'm a little bit disappointed, honestly. I thought it was going to be like a dungeon crawler. But it just seems like just JPEGs. Or just like one scene into the other. Um, four distinct dungeons. Once the spirits are defeated, the final traumatarium will open. But yeah, it doesn't really seem like there's any sort of interaction, which is a bit of a shame. 
Yeah, I heard the S version's a lot better, but for some reason, on the S version, they made it 16x9 instead of 4x3, which I thought was a really weird decision, because you won't be playing any widescreen games on that system. So, have you got the S version? Do you think it actually made much of a difference? A monster attacks. Oh no. Nice looking monster, though. <laughs> Room 6. A creaky wooden door with a ghostly draft. You find food and bandages. Room 7. Steel bars block your way. Search. Find more bandages. <laughs> Room 8. A fork in the tunnel. Do I get to choose? Okay, left or right. Let's go. Well, I don't I don't know what the uh, I don't know what the control was mapped to. Is A A or is A B? Let's see. I pressed A. Do I go left or right? Let's find out. Who knows? An abandoned mine shaft. Let's search the abandoned mine shaft. Get more food and bandages. Final room. I haven't done anything yet. A winding staircase, bathed in darkness. The cursed spirit shows itself. Die, monster! For I am jacked up Shovel Knight. <laughs> oh, okay, so A is A, B is B. Let's try using a bandage. I have nine of them. Let's try using another one. They don't heal that much, though. Let's see whether I can get an attack in. What else do we have? We have food. I can't remember whether it said food is better or not. Okay, that's a separate meter. Not sure what's going on with the meter now. Now I've got two different meters kind of separated. And now it's showing my health as being on zero. Now it's... I, uh, is it looped around? Is there a glitch? I'm not really sure what's going on. How did I die then? My health bar was still half full. And it looked like it had wrapped around. Okay, let's see whether we can load. Okay, we can't load. Are we going to have... Okay, we're back at the start. Okay, so you can choose the other dungeons from this screen as well. Um, let's try the second one then, see if that one's any different. The artwork is nice, but the gameplay is a bit low. Hmm... I think someone just got a bit excited about the fact that they could um, use GB Studio and they're just good artists, I feel. You find food. Room two. A monster attacks. Oh no. I'm usually always about the correct aspect ratio, however, it's such a small screen that I don't notice it. It doesn't feel stretched, it's handy when I can't be bothered setting up my SNES, and it's also EverDrive compatible. Hmm. That's interesting. I guess I guess I wouldn't really notice that much. I mean, I've been enjoying playing SNES games on the analog pocket. They display really well on this. And I, uh, on here as well, they actually... I feel like the aspect ratio is a bit too squashed. Because usually when you'd play on the SNES originally, it would kind of stretch them a little bit. Because even though they were made using square pixels, they are actually stretched to 4x3 instead of 1x1. One one. But on here, it displays as 1x1, one one, which is technically how they were built, but it doesn't really look right. So I feel like 16x9 is actually slightly nicer for the SNES than 1x1, one one, in a weird way. Anyway, let's carry on here a bit. Yeah, with this game, I feel like the artist should have teamed up with a programmer. To actually make a a real game, because this feels more just like a like a flip book. Does that make sense? Oh uh, yeah, the artwork's amazing, especially for the Game Boy. But there's really nothing to it. Hey, first time chat. Fight magic items. Run. Fight an item. Where's magic and run? Huh? Actually, it should be search or leave, according to this game. You find food! It looks like there's some weird glitch going on here as well. There's a weird, like... Well, you can't see. Can't point at it either. 
You got them all. Room six. A broken down wagon stuck in the mud. Okay. Okay, we found someone. Oh. Really? I thought I was at least going to speak to someone then. I clicked on it and it just says, you found food and bandages, just like everything else. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They could easily have been commissioned by someone who was more into... Oh my god, you've got me on two screens at once. Hello me! On the other screen. Did you enjoy my hidden gems? Do you think they were good picks? I wanted to include more. There was a lot of Japanese ones I wanted to include, but I was saving that for a future Japan exclusive video. Um, and I wanted to do ROMs as well because there's a load of games that I wanted to include that I don't own. But I want to kind of keep those videos just as ones I already own anyway. Oh, I don't know. Maybe he just wanted to do a game like this where it's just images. But there's not really any story to it either. Like I would I would understand doing a game like this if they were turning it into like a comic or something. But these just seem like random locations. Unless I'm missing something with this. It seems very bare bones. And slightly slightly disappointing. And if I'm completely honest, I played this one and this one's awful, so we'll play this one next and get it out of the way. I want to at least see what the other areas look like, from the graphics point of view. But, yeah, I'm not really... As Shonk says, I'm not really feeling this. Room 9. A slimy swamp. Covered by thick fog. You find food and bandages. Is that all there is? The clearing opens into a dark meadow. That's the most animation the entire game has. The cursed spirit shows itself. Die, witch. The health bar's all messed up again. Uh, and I died. Okay, that's probably enough for that game. Unfortunately, it wasn't as good as I was hoping, especially considering the packaging for this is absolutely amazing. I'll show it off again, because when I showed this off earlier, there was a, there was only a few people in the stream. So look how, look how good this looks. There you go, so you can see it. Just looks fantastic. And the instruction manual as well. You can tell that this guy is an artist over being a game designer. I think they could do really well if they make a like a webcomic or something. Yeah. No, not my cup of tea either, really. I'll show you the cartridge as well, because the cartridge is really nice. I'm not sure whether it's glow-in-the-dark too. It might be. But yeah, really, really good. Apart from the gameplay, unfortunately. So, yeah, kind of bummed out about that. I've had that I've had that um, on my desk waiting for this video for ages. I was really looking forward to getting into it today as well. So that is a bit of a shame. Anyway, next game we're going to be taking a look at is called Penalty Kick, which was turned into a physical release by Ferrante Crafts. So let's launch this one up. And I'm warning you guys right now, this game is not good. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Well, I don't mind that little plinky plunky music. Can you guys hear the music okay? Or is it too quiet? Well, there isn't really any now. Right, so this game is painful. So, again, there's hardly any interaction. So you press A, and then you have the whatever, the reticle or whatever you'd want to call that that shows where the ball's going to land press A again and then just hope for the best I don't, I tried a few different things and I can't really tell whether choosing your angle, and then for the goalkeeper you can tap left or right to move in three little spaces like that and press A and you just have to hope that you've moved in the right direction and the ball might go in or it might not and then you do the same again you press A Decide where you want it to land. 
and then you have a power meter and then you just press a and then just hope that it goes in and that's the entire game i don't know why this got a physical release am i missing something here or is this just a bad game it's all just just luck yeah there was there was one by green boy games as well Except that one was even worse, because you didn't get to choose where the ball went. And you didn't get to choose the power of the kick, either. I think I upset the goalie, then. But it didn't make any difference. I don't understand where all these games are coming from, or who's making them. But there's literally nothing to do. I could easily just... I could easily just be doing this. And have just as much of a chance as at winning. See? Yeah, I scored. Oh no, I didn't score. That was that was the opponent that scored. Am I missing something, guys? Am I am I being overly critical here? What do you what do you think? Am I being fair? Should I put some more time into learning learning how this game works, or is there nothing to it? I'm guessing four powers best. So you have no idea which direction to pick, you just have to pick one. And then the <laughs> the guy who's shooting just slides slightly to the left or right. And apparently that's him kicking the ball, so. Uh maybe, depending on when you press A here and what side of the goal the goalkeeper's on, you need to start aiming on the opposite side, so. Let's try aiming to the left, because the goalie was on the right. It went in. Did that make any difference? I don't know. I don't think there's any way of telling on this bit. Hey, I saved it, somehow. So, let's try with that theory in mind again. Okay, so he's on the left. And we need to aim on the right. It worked. Let's see if we can actually win a match. I think the game's really struggling because the music's actually slowing down as the character moves. Oh hey, it worked. I didn't even aim it properly that time. Let's try and block him right in the middle. No. Oh no, it's okay, he was on the left. Oh, I didn't get very good power then. Maybe that was the issue. <clears throat> Yay, I saved it. Oh no, he's shocked. Full power! Back of the net. Yay! That's probably the most I've ever played a football game. You won! Play again. Where's the god no option? Yeah, sorry. That was just... I don't understand. I don't. I just don't understand how that got a release. Why did they pick that over the many, many good, well-made homebrew games with actual gameplay? I have no idea. I need a cider. Huh. Leo Legends, that's it. I do have another one somewhere, but I'm not sure where I've put it. Ah, I do. Bear with me one second. I'll put you on full cam so you can see where I'm going. Oh yeah, I should put my um put my box thing on. Are there any fans in the chat? Where's all the Leo Legends fans? There's got to be another one. Anyway, this is what I want to get. This is what I want to get. We'll play this one next. This is Big to Small by, if I can point on the right side of the screen, by Retro Room. Retro Room Roo, and he actually sent me this along with a bunch of other games. This is his latest published release. <laughs> yeah, where's all the Leo Legends fans? Why is the tumbleweed coming past? Look at this amazing game. 
How could you not want to add it to your collection? Oh god, it looks even worse than the one I just played. Look at, look at that. The ball looks nicer. I'll give them that. The ball looks nicer. All right. Apparently, big to small is a good one. Here's the instructions for it. Very nice, fun color. He did also give me the N64 version, but unfortunately, I don't know whether it's because I've got a PAL system or not, but it doesn't actually fit in the in the machine. I'll show you. Bear with me a second. Oh, something exciting. While I'm on fun cam mode. Look. Look there. Look there. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? I'm gonna come and I'm gonna come and show you guys. I was so excited to get this. Does anyone know what that is? I hope someone knows what it is. Yes, Nintendo's first ever game console. Unfortunately, yeah, Nintendo, and I don't know whether it's going to pick it up on the camera, but... Uh, can you see it? 1977 Nintendo. How cool is that? That's a piece of history. Unfortunately though, I can't get it plugged into the uh, TV properly and I did get an adapter off eBay, this, but they sent me the wrong one. The end on here isn't the one that I saw in the picture. It needs to be solid on the inside instead of hollow so it still doesn't quite fit um, in the actual RF slot, unfortunately. Yeah, and you know what's really weird about this? It's a TV console, but it takes six, yeah, six C batteries. There's no, there's no um, AC adapter or anything. There was a second version that does, but um, this one was actually a re-release of it. This was the second version, which is actually rarer. So I was really, really happy to find that. Yeah, C batteries. I've got them here. So weird. Well, I don't even remember the last time I ever had to use a C battery. I don't know how long they last either. But the good thing is they um, they sold me the system as not working because the battery compartment was uh, corroded on the inside. There you go. Look at them. When was the last time any of you saw C batteries? Yeah, the battery compartment was corroded on the inside, but I did manage to fix it thanks to this. Someone on Twitter recommended it to me. Rust remover. So I used that, used some Q-tips and some contact cleaner and stuff. And it does turn on. I just need to find a way of getting it connected to the TV properly. Anyway, let's try out big to small. No way. Things still use C batteries? In this day and age? I hadn't seen them since I was a kid. Anyway, here we go. Game number three. Can you hear it okay, or is it too quiet? I might turn it off a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, true. Nintendo um, kind of marketed this as a toy rather than a game console as well. And obviously they were known for toys. They were known for their toys back then. Right. So I'm already I'm already very impressed by this. This looks way better than anything else we've seen so far. So let's have a look. Peanut Pathway. Hi, my name is Ellie. I wish I had a peanut. Hey, I think I see a peanut up ahead. Please use the D-pad to take me there. Okay. Yay, Ellie's happy now. This peanut is so delicious, thank you. I'm gonna go look for more. Okay. Hi there, my name's Giselle, what's yours? I'm Ellie, are you looking for peanuts too? Actually, I'm looking for a tasty apple. Let's eat once we've both got our food. Press A or B to change which of us is selected. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that in the first level, but you actually press the direction and let go and they move all the way to the other end of the screen, so... Ellie's happy there. 
and the goat bounces around. You're going to take the goat to the apple. This is actually a really fun little puzzle game. This apple is very appealing. We make a good team, let's be friends. Nice pun. Okay, and we've got three. A new friend. Hello, my name is Melanie, or Mel for short. We're looking for some food. What about you? I'm looking for a spaceship to go to the moon. You know, you guys know what that's a reference to? Anyone? What mouse looks for a spaceship in a game? I bet Starlack knows. And hi, by the way. I did see you pop up. Great, can we all work together? Yeah, like Pineapple Kid. So, I can see this getting quite confusing. So, move the goat out of the way. Oh no. Oh, it's okay, they can... Anyway, it was a reference to Choo Choo Rocket, for anyone who didn't get that. So the goat's in the right place. If we use the goat to push the mouse down... No, the mouse is in the right place. But we need to get the elephant to stay in the right place as well. Do we need to get everyone to go up to where the elephant is first? Oh no, we can do that. No, not quite. Right, you're coming up here too. And then we can move him up. And then... Do that and get the mouse to go down there. Yay! I like this game. This is this is really clever. I just got fun music too. This is making me happy after those first two games. I hope the other two are good as well. And this one this one came with a bunch of stuff too, but I'm not sure where I've put it all. Um okay, but I still want that spaceship. The game might start getting harder now. But if, what if we want to start over? You can always press start to open the menu. Okay, so we've got a par as well. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, they said the game's going to start getting harder. I feel like I'm stuck already. But we can do that and get the elephant to go down. But... Man, this is going to get complicated real fast. Okay, got two down. Now let's bring him down. What happens if we go off the bottom there? Okay, nothing. That's good. Um, I do have the N64 version. One second. Although, there seems to be a problem. Uh, let me get my system, I'll show you. Right. I'll go back on full screen for a sec. We can come back to this. Right, here's my N64. Nice and dusty of course. But, here's the game. It doesn't fit. I don't know if the pins are... I don't know if it's too thick. I, I try and push it down. It just doesn't go in. I don't know if it's because I've got a PAL system and it's not compatible, but it looks like it should fit. Tabs on the button, we can't get it in the way. I don't know, I can't tell what's stopping it. And I tried it in my Japanese system as well, and it doesn't fit in there either. So I have I have not been able to to try it. Wait, have a look on the bottom there. Is there anything weird about it? Is there anything different to a normal game? No. Hold on. Right. 
Here's my Japanese one. Again, it's a little bit dusty. But again, it doesn't it doesn't push down. It doesn't push down at all. So I'm guessing it's only made for American systems. Yeah. So I think I'm out of luck, unfortunately. So I can't I can't tell you whether the N64 game is different or not. Oh, the UK the US one has a different tab layer. That's weird. I thought the Japanese and American ones would be the same, not not the Japanese and PAL one. That is weird, but yeah. Unfortunately I can't play it. Let's have a look. Oh, it's the the bits on the end look. There you go. So the one at the top is the Japanese game and the one at the bottom the one at the bottom is uh, big to small, so yeah, you can see that bit there is bigger compared to that one. Why would they do that? That's weird. If it was a region locking thing, why would they not do something different for all three regions? Strange. Anyway, let's do a few more levels of this. I'm back on the right screen, aren't I? USA and Japanese systems are the same, so the tabs act as a region lock. I wonder what would happen if you put a Japanese game in a UK system then. I haven't tried that. Would that work or not? I, I Well, obviously it wouldn't work, but... Yeah, that's, that's what I meant. How did they get around the region lock-in? Uh, right, what am I doing here? I need to... Okay. I need to do this to push the elephant up there. And... Hmm. Oh no! Oh, I almost had it. If you break the tabs off... Uh, I don't really want to do that. I did have it then and then I moved the elephant and messed it up. Damn it. How am I going to get back to that? Uh, I can just move the mouse up by one. Right. And then move the goat there. And then move the mouse to the cheese! Yay! <coughs> off the slot on the N64. Oh! I see what you're on about now, so... It's... Uh, you probably won't be able to see. It's the actual plastic at the back. So if I get rid of that plastic, then the other one should be able to slot in there. And then that American game won't be able to play in the Japanese system, right? I might try doing that. Maybe. I'll feel bad for destroying it, though. Oh, it's 3D printed inlays. I might try that then. All these shrubs are in the way. Okay, we got a fourth thing as well now. I can eat them that way we'll clear a path. I thought you ate apples. Sure, for dessert, but a girl's got to eat her vegetables too. Okay. I feel like we might need to use, use the uh, bushes though. Let's break everyone out. Skyfox Gemini, hello. Yes, I'm good, thank you. Oh, I am now. I was complaining a little bit about work earlier, being in meetings all day. But I'm happy now, and I'm happy that I'm feeling better because I was really sick recently. But yay, I'm all I'm all good now. So that means I can finally do another stream. It's been a while. I need to... This one's confusing, damn. Uh... Let's get these two in the right place first. Okay, that one's easy, because it can just line up like that. Hmm. 
Okay. Now we've got him in the right place. And... Ah, oh, shoot! I did them the wrong way around! No! Goat goes there. Elephant goes there. And mouse goes. Yeah! Yeah, I did it! Yeah, thank you. I'm glad to be back online as well. I was really annoyed with myself for getting ill, honestly, because I had a really good plan for what I wanted to do to start off the new year, and basically everything I wanted to do I just couldn't do because I could, like, not think at all. But I've got some really exciting stuff coming up. Obviously this is for next week's video, but then after that I'm gonna, I'm gonna try changing things up a bit, I think. And I've got some fun ideas for streams as well, so hopefully you guys are along for the ride. I'm really excited for this year. Did you notice the par on the start menu? Yeah, what's that number four anyway? Winning in that many moves gets us stars. Sometimes it also unlocks bonus puzzles. Okay, so... Par 49. I feel like you'd have to... play these levels quite a few times. Okay, so we can do that and get the goat out and get him to come and eat the bushes. Do we have to... Oh no, the mouse is stuck in here. Let's do that to get the mouse out. That poor goat is stuck on this side now. Although he's on the right thing. That elephant's trapped. But if I do that, then the mouse is going to get trapped. <coughs> he was sick for three weeks over Christmas and New Year. Oh man, that must have been really annoying, especially if you'd just started streaming and then you couldn't do it for a while. Well, are you feeling better now? Hopefully. Right, I do not know how to get... Oh, I need to get the goat. I'm definitely not doing this under par. I need to get the goat in here so we can eat that shrub. Ah, uh, okay. That should make it easier to get in and out of there. Uh, maybe your body just needed a rest. That's what that's what I ended up thinking. Like maybe I get ill for a reason. Maybe I was trying to push myself too hard. I've been doing a lot, especially with a new job as well. Oh my god! I'm gonna restart this. I think I've already gone over the, uh, gone over par anyway. <clears throat> Should be pretty simple. Let's see. Get the goat out. Get him to come and eat the, the bushes. And then, now what? Maybe he should have gone to eat the other one straight away. He's trapped in that corner now. Okay. If we do that, now they're both free. We can put him back in there. Get him out, push him in that gap. And that means the goat can go in there. And then make the goat go around here and eat that. Everyone's out now. Okay. So. We need to get the elephant in there. Yeah, the mouse is stuck. Let's go and get the mouse out because he's trapped in the corner. So if we do that... We can free the mouse, free the elephant, 
put the mouse up there so that now the elephant can get his uh, peanut. I've got it. I think I'm over par. When the mouse gets the cheese, there we go. It gets the apple. Do you get to see how many moves you did? Whoa! Okay, that was some sort of crazy map screen there. What the hell's going on? <laughs> that doesn't look right. I think that's broken. That doesn't seem right. I'm only just going from up there to down there. I should not be flying off to the other side of the map. That is weird. Oh, okay, so you can see the stars on the levels. So I only got a star on one. Okay. Whoa! Let's fly over here. Out to pasture. I think there's some weird glitches going on. There's bound to be good food here. But there's all these fences in the way. I could get through those holes. Perfect. That would help me a whole lot. Ha ha ha. Yeah, something's going on with the tiles being wrong. It might be to do with the fact that this is running on an emulator, maybe? Maybe? I'm kind of sad my N64 can't play it. Okay, he's got in, yay. How is that going to help? Just help the goat stand in the way of the apple, I guess. Uh, how do I get in there? That's it. Okay. Oh, where are you going? Oh, I suppose the, the mouse doesn't need the uh, apple, does he? Okay. I'm way over the limit, but... Yeah, you can tell that the designer actually cared about this game, which... I hate to say it, but it definitely makes a change compared to some of the games we've seen today. Oh no, I moved the goat, damn it. Reset. Oh, the mouse can go in that way. I might just do this one and then move on to the next game though, because we could be here a long time. That's it, isn't it? Right, goat is set. Mouse. Oh yeah, sure, if you know where you can get one. Thanks. Okay, I know I know what I need to do now. I thought I did. I need to... I need to get the mouse to stand where the elephant just was. I'm coming back in. I've gone way over par. Damn it. Oh, guys, help me out here. I just need to get... I need to get the mouse to stand on the square to the left of the peanut there, but I need the elephant to be to be stopped by the mouse just above the gate. 
so that he can hit his head on the trees. No, the elephant can't go through the gates. Only the mouse can go through, I think. Yeah. The elephant can't go in there. I'm pretty sure I don't need to do anything with the gate. I need the mouse to go down one square there and stop. Mouse down to the fence. Do you mean like that? Or... Oh! Okay, the elephant's in the right place. But how do I get the mouse on that side? That's it! I did it! Slowly. It's alright, I've done it. I'm way over par though. Yay! Man, my brain! My brain hurts! I think this, this map's a bit messed up as well. Are those letters meant to be there? Let's see how confusing this one looks. Hey cows, wanna come and find food with us? Animals can't talk. No, the animals just want to get in the way. I like that little animation. Watch, watch, watch that cow in the corner. <laughs> what is he doing? I don't want to know what he's doing. We need the goat. We need the goat to eat the bush. And that side. Come on then. Goat D. Right, what's going on here? I need to send the mouse. I need to send the mouse in the corner. So the goat can come down. Maybe? Why the goat needed to be down there, I'm not sure. Okay, the goat is stuck at the top now. Right, I get it. Send the goat to that side. And then, as the mouse, I can do that. Now the goat's in the right place. Now the mouse is in the right place. Or do we need to do that first? No! I was so close! Okay, I got it, I got it. Yay, we did it! I actually really like this game. I think they've done a fantastic job with it. I won't keep going because it's a very slow paced game and it's probably not that, mo that much fun to watch on stream, but... I can see myself enjoying this one. So we will end that there. I don't know whether there's saves or not. Um, let's see. There might not be. Right, anyway. That's it for that game. Definitely a lot happier with that game than the other one, so... Um, and thanks, by the way, Starlock. I'll have a look at that after. So we have two more. Yeah, I did see the save slots, but I saw no save option, so... Which game do you guys want to see next? Velocity Rush or Ark? Vote now! Dun 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 uh, look at the jello effect. I'm getting a new camera soon. I'm very excited. This get this camera has some pretty bad rolling shutter issues. Which is fine when it's on a tripod like this, but as soon as you're walking around with it, it's awful. Okay, Velocirush. Let's check out Velocirush. Like Velociraptor.
Dun, 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 dun. I did have a piece of paper. I had a piece of paper that the developer wrote to me, but I think my dog ate it. I'm not joking either. It's not a homework thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he ate it. Damn. It must be here somewhere. You guys think I'm lying there. I'm not lying. Anyway, this is Velocirush, which is... Um, yeah, Skittles ate it. Damn you, Skittles. Anyway, this is a drone racing game. Welcome to Velocity Rush Drone Training. This will teach you enough to get around the track. A few things to note before we start. Yeah, I've been waiting for this game for probably two years now. Maybe longer. Actually. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. I did have a piece of paper with, with a handwritten note from the guy, but I don't know where it is. I'm sorry. Okay. So, that is the start and finish gate. I don't think there's any sound in this game. No. You're just going to have to listen to me talk. And for some reason... Oh, never mind. Windows uh, pops up the the weather in the bottom for some reason. There's a couple of drone games on the 3DS. Yeah, I've seen those, and I was kind of interested in them, so I was actually really disappointed to see that they were a bit rubbish. Um, your time starts and ends crossing these with a few laps in between. This is the gate indicator. Yeah, it's such a shame. I was actually looking for a VR drone game, which I thought would be really cool, because obviously FPV drones, you do actually have the headset on. I thought that would translate really well to VR, but it doesn't really seem like there is any, even on PC, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, it shows which way the gate or the flag is. Once you pass through the gates, the indicator moves on to the next. Also note the white dots lying in the track. These lines show off the edge of the track. Ah, oh, yeah, that would be fun. A goat simulator style drone, drone plane game. Ah, oh, there's so much, yeah, there's so much promise with that, with that concept. That could be really fun. And you could have all kinds of different drones and have things, like, falling off them, like, yeah, that, that'd be great. And in multiplayer as well, where you could crash into people and stuff. Anyway, let's watch the example. This is a flag. They'll be used to mark some corners. As you only fly around them. It doesn't matter if you're on high or low when you do. Now it's your turn. To make the quad move, push the D-pad in that direction. Whoa, okay, that's... That's weird. It's kind of got diagonal movement, but not really. And there's no momentum to it whatsoever. And when you stop moving, the propellers don't turn, which is a bit strange. Woohoo! If you get rid of the tabs on the USA SNES, you can play Super Famicom games. That's, that's kind of weird, like, they really cheaped out on the copy protection, didn't they, for some consoles. You're a natural! Let's move on to height control. Next up is height control. There's two methods for this. You can switch between them in the options menu. Method one, you go both up and down using the A button. And two, you use A for up and B for down. When the quad changes from high to low, the icon in the top left will show the current state. Okay, there's two gates round. Type of gate is flown through high and a square gate is mostly flown through low. Sometimes you go over, but more on that later. Be warned, if you try and fly through a gate too high or low, you'll hit the gate and the screen shake showing the gate isn't done, so you'll need to redo that gate. Let's watch how to do it right. This is a round gate, so we set it to high. This is a square gate, so we set it to low. Back to a round gate, so we need to be high. Next we have tunnels. The type is the same as gate, so square, tunnel, is low and circle tunnel is high and you have to stay at that height all the way through 
What? Oh, the actual shape of the tunnel itself is a square, not the square on the top. Okay. Lastly, we have the high tunnel. And finally, back to low to finish. Oh my god, that's a lot to take in. So, low is square, high is circle. So, low, high, low, high, low, high. Ow. There you go. There's a screen shake. Complete. Excellent. You're dodging and diving with the best. Here's the final piece to our training. We have two types of special gates. A split S and a spiral. In a split S, you go over the gate high, turn around and come back through the opposite way low. With a spiral, you have to go over the gate, round the side with the flag and come back through. I didn't even know my cat was in here. He just shouted at me. Oops. Now you've made yourself known, you have to say hello to Twitch. Say hello to Taito, everyone. Meow. Go on, say something into the microphone. <laughs> or just scratch your head on it. Hello, Taito. Yes, Taito was in the game company. It's their 70th anniversary this year, and I tweeted them with a picture of Taito, and um, some Japanese Taito account retweeted it, which was pretty cool. Oh my god. I forgot what this was teaching me now. This indicates you need to go over the next gate, and this applies to both a split S and a spiral, so we set up the quad to high. As the gate has a flag attached to it, it indicates we do a spiral, so we go around the side with the flag on it. Round we go to do the spiral. Make sure we're back to being low and through we go. I feel like this game would have um, been improved a lot if you could actually see the gates. The actual height that they're supposed to be rather than them being completely top down. Because you can't tell what's high and low. I get, I get why they've done done it like this because it was a lot easier to make but having that perspective would have definitely made this a lot more easy to digest yeah they're owned by square enix now which is very strange they don't really seem like two companies that really match each other that well it's weird but square enix is like that they just they just buy everything notice the gate indicator has swapped sides indicating this is a Spliss. Now we drop... Oh my god, I'm not going to remember this. Now we drop down to low and go back through the way we went. I'll just show you the next two without the waffle. Even the game knows it's going on too long. <coughs> wow. They are, they are some cat names, I'll say that much. Uh, what's he going back up there for? Oh my god, I've not taken any of this in. I can't even remember what high and low is, right? Low is square, high is circle. No? High is square, and you go round that one. Uh, and then you go low when you're coming back in. High is square, and then you go round it, and then you go low. And then you stay low. And then you go high, and then you go round it. And then you go low, and then high again, and go around it this way, and then low, and then high. Complete! Hey, I managed to remember it, I think. Now you're a pro quad pilot. Let's test out your juicy skills on a whole track. See how quick you can do three laps. Here's your first chance to get racing. Before we start, a quick review of the screen. This is the start-finish gate. Your time starts when you cross it and stops when you pass on the end of your third lap. This is the gate indicator. Yes, you just told me. It shows which gate is next. How did you come up with the name Mexican Bypass? Were you, I presume you were driving through one or saw one at the time. <laughs> I had a fish called Turkey Foil once. That's probably my strangest pet name. 
What about anyone else watching? What weird pet names have you had over the years? This shows the height of the quad. This shows which lap you're currently on. Okay, it's all self-explanatory. Lastly, this is your battery voltage. If it reaches zero volts, you'll have to try and fly again. It can also give you a hint if you're still on for first. What? Are you ready? Set, go. No, I'm not ready. Okay. Square. What's it doing? Am I going the wrong way? Circle is low, and you go around that. I think I'm going the wrong way. Why is it just... I don't know what just happened then. Circle's high. Now where do I go? Square's low. Circle's high. Square's low. I don't need to do anything different on that one. I thought I had to go around them ones. No. Square is low. Why was that a square low? And this one not? I don't understand anymore. So you have to go high, then you go round, and then you go low. And that one you don't need to do anything. That one you go high, that one you go low. That one you go low, high. Low. No? Hi. Is it because it's on the other side? Uh, I feel like I would have a lot more fun flying an actual drone IRL. I would actually love to learn to fly a drone properly. I've got one, but I've hardly ever used it. And I know I don't really have a reason to, but I would love... To get one to do video with. Just every time I see drone footage. It's just so cool. I keep thinking I really want to do something like that. But I don't really live anywhere interest enough to fly drones around. And I don't think I would ever use it really if I did get one. Which is a shame. Because I really like the idea of learning how to fly one. Does anyone here fly drones or have a drone? I have one of those really cheap like basic ones that I got for Christmas one year, which was fun to play around with, and it had a special button where it could do flips and loop the loops and stuff. Uh, yeah, my brain hurts on this game as well. It depends what side of the gate is lighting up as to whether you need to go high or low, but you also have to depend on the shape of it as well. And then there's some bits with flags, which also change the way that you need to look at it. Apparently I took 98 seconds to get through that. Hooray! I've got my drone license. Okay, there we go. A very, very pixelated drone license. Now just write your name on it. Uh, very, very slowly. Nearly there. H. I. J. K. Uh, okay. Okay, it's frozen. It couldn't handle me typing my name in. It's, it's literally, literally frozen. And doing that in front of the camera, I have no coordination whatsoever. Um, I guess that's it for this game. I didn't really think much of it. What did everyone think in chat? How would you rate Velocity Drone, Velocity Rush? How would you rate Velocity Rush out of 10, let's say? That might be fun. We can go through and rate the games at the end. Yeah, maybe I'd give it a 2 as well, honestly. And finally, for tonight, we have Ark, another game by Ferrante Crafts. We have another 2 out of 10. Yeah, I'd probably rate it 2. Nice idea. Terrible execution. Graphics could have made the game a lot easier without the unnecessary confusion of all the different shapes and circles and stuff. Um, controls just felt like I was just moving a cursor around. 
Better than the football game? Yeah. At least, um, at least there was some actual gameplay. This one's not working. Oh, there we go. Okay. This one is called Ark. And I'm wondering, because it's only half eight. Now, we'll, we'll see how we feel after this. There is one more. One more game, possibly. And does this one have no sound either? I'm sure this one had sound. Hold on. Let me try an analog pocket just see. See whether it's whether it's got sound. I did actually get the analog pocket dock as well, so um I might try using that to stream at some point in the future. Nope, there is no sound, the volume's on max. Oh, there is, kind of. Doesn't sound like we were missing out on much, though. Neko Robo, I like that one. My cats are called Taito and Nindy. Nindy, based on what N Nintendo used to call their in a independent game developers. And before that, I had a cat called Nemo and a cat called Sonic. Oh, why is it not working? The cartridge for this one seems really temperamental. Yeah, it's like a Soka Band style game. Load failed. It worked a second ago. Let me try and shut the program down and boot it back up. Okay, right, we have power. Do we have sound? Yes, we have sound again. Okay. Uh... Yeah, it's just a simple block pushing game, this one is. The name Skittles came from me trying to make a name based on a bunch of those Instagram wholesome artists with pastel art styles. Huh, that's interesting. Oh, what's happened here? I'm trapped! How am I stuck? I'm only on level two. A very, a very difficult Soka Band style game. I'm rubbish at these kind of games, by the way. Come on, there's only so many moves I can make. I know the floor state st breaks after stepping on it. Where, what else can I do? The only box I can push is the one on the left of where the floor breaks. But then... Going from above. It won't help, will it? Now I'm just trapped here. Oh, maybe I'm am I meant to do it like that? Oh. Okay, I didn't know that would happen. It disappears and I can just go back round again. Okay. That was my mistake for not testing it properly, I guess. No, I'm stuck. 
Wow, they really don't ease you into this game at all, do they? We're getting somewhere. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. Hopefully there's some more, like, um, environmental things that happen in this game. Because if it's just pushing blocks around in a little maze, it's kind of going to lose interest pretty quick. I used to really like Boxall. I, I like the music, especially. I wonder if there's, um, no, there isn't any any pause menu at all on this one. I was going to say, I wonder if there's like a bar for the amount of moves that you should, you should do or something, but I guess not. Uh, I'm not really having too much fun with this one, honestly. What does chat think of this one so far? Better than the last, but still a three. Ah, I moved it too far. Four. Yeah, big to small is definitely number one. I mean, yeah, the Game Boy is good for puzzle games, but they really didn't try to do anything original with this at all. Yeah, the music definitely helped with Boxall. But, uh, yeah, this hasn't got anything going for it. I'm honestly a bit disappointed by this whole set, apart from Big to Small. I was hoping to do a really fun video. I had five, five new games to check out, and only one of them has actually been any good. Although, Skittles might have... An ace up his sleeve, so to say. I wasn't planning to do this on this stream, but as you're here, let me open up my DMs. We can save this. We can save this stream, guys. Do I even have an emulator on this PC? No, I don't. What's a good Game Boy emulator on Windows? Tell me what I should what I should download. MGBA is that still a good one? I have all the emulators and stuff on my Mac. BGB, yes, I paid for that one. Actually, I've got that one on the Mac. Oh, I wasn't saying the stream was bad. I'm saying the games are bad. Well, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I know it's not been like the best set of games ever. But we will hopefully save it with one more game. I'm just extracting it now. And we have... Hopefully I can use the... Uh, controller. Let's close this. 